Okay, so this is the completed motion simulator. Uh, I got the battery charger right there. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and show the layout. Uh, first of all, we've got the uh, the car seat from a Honda Insight, I believe, and then uh, under here is the uh, drive shaft, universal joint from a drive shaft from like a Toyota T100 pickup or something like that. Um, we have the two wiper motors uh, right there, and there's the other one right there. Uh, they came off of uh, a Ford uh, Explorer and like a Ford pickup, like an old 250 or something like that. And then two tie rod ends um, that I just found at the pick and pull. I don't know what they came off of. They were just on the ground. And then, uh, so I guess we'll go next to the upper frame. The upper frame is just one 2x4 beam, about 5 feet uh, from there to there. And then it just basically connects to this 2x4 right here that connects the two connecting rods to the motors. Uh, and it's actually just screwed in on top of the, the spine or the upper frame. Uh, upper frame spine and then the seat uh, rails are just mounted on two 2x4s two that again are just screwed into the spine uh, up top there I've got one butt kicker down here another butt kicker up at the front of the rig uh, I've got um, my Thrustmaster uh, T3P GT pedals I think that's what they're called and then my CH products uh, rudder pedals and over here, I have the uh, Amazon 7-speed um, with reverse shifter. And then uh, the Thrustmaster T16000M that um, I use as a e-brake. And then um, I'll use it possibly as a, uh, as a stick for Elite Dangerous if I don't want to use my center stick, which is a Microsoft uh, Sidewinder Force Feedback 2. And then over here we have, for our throttle quadrant, we have the Thrustmaster uh, Warthog uh, throttle. Then uh, there's the T300RS wheel. And then flanking that, I have the Honeycomb Alpha and Bravo uh, for my flight setup there. So that is, uh, that's pretty much everything with the rig.